Pardon me? Oh, first case. Okay. You know, they, uh, this is interesting because um, anyone who followed the case knew about the issue of 1108 evidence, which in California is called prior bad acts evidence. And what, the process, what California allows and few states do allow is that in a case like this, you can bring in evidence of other alleged similar acts, even if they were never charged with a crime and even if they're not the essence of the charge in this particular case. So what they said in their opening statement was, we have evidence that five young men were molested. And we're going to present all of that to you. And to make it even worse, it appeared, the judge did something I've never seen happen in a case like this. With respect to three of those alleged five victims, he allowed witnesses to come in and say they saw them molested without the prosecution having to bring the actual alleged victims in. Okay? So they did that. They put on three guards who had worked at Neverland to say they saw these three people molested. One of them, Macaulay Culkin, okay, the actor. All right? Now, those three guards had sued Michael Jackson, claiming that he wrongfully terminated them. He had cross-complained, saying that they had stolen property from him. It was the longest civil trial in the history of Santa Maria. They lost their case. Jackson won his cross-complaint. He had a million-dollar judgment against all of them. There were judicial findings of fraud against all of them. They had gone to the tabloids and sold stories. And the three people they say they saw molested, they were my first three witnesses. They came in and said they were never touched. So when that happens, I think we were able to effectively take all of us and say, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, you can't believe these prosecutors. You can't believe their case. You know, they'll, they'll say anything to try and win. Now, the one you're talking about never showed up. He's the one who got a settlement in the early 90s. Now, my understanding is the prosecutors tried to get him to show up, and he wouldn't. If he had, I had witnesses who were going to come in and say he told them it never happened and that he would never talk to his parents again for what they made him say, and it turned out he had gone into court and gotten legal emancipation from his parents. His mother testified that she hadn't talked to him in 11 years. So, you know... There was a problem there as well. There was a fifth alleged victim who testified, who said that Michael Jackson had been playing with him and had gone too far and touched his testicles, and he needed five years of therapy after it. And during the first therapy session, the DA was present. And he also admitted he wanted money from him, and his mother wanted money from Jackson, and his mother went to a tabloid and sold the story as well. So you put all that together, and I submit that it helped us. Next question. 